Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce you to our newly released drill down combo bar visual and some of the core features you need to know about it. So we're going to go through the setup, interactions and features that the visual has. So first things first, let me go through the initial setup of the visual so you know how to make the chart actually start working. So in order to do that, let's create a new page. Let's insert the visual into the canvas. And if you look at the field valve right here, you're going to see that the setup of this visual is really similar to our combo visual. So if you have previously worked with that, you're going to have no issues whatsoever working with the combo bar visual. So in order to make it work, all you need to do is basically add in different categories or columns right here. So these columns right here are textual fields or category based fields. So let's go for a region. Um, let's add in the second level of the drill down. That's going to be the title. And the third one's going to be the name. Now, the next fields that you see here, and there's 12 of them, are called series. So the series are actually numerical fields. So these fields will be the ones that are actually generating the chart and showing values for specific categories that you provided here in the category field. So for the series one, I'm going to go for the payout. You can see it initially already creates the chart for me. The second thing that I'm going to add here is, let's say, let's go for a measure and add in the average payout. All right. It kind of looks too small, right? You can't even notice the difference in it. So what I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to go to series two and change the assigned axis to be the secondary axis. OK, once I did that, it looks a little bit better. But now I don't have the actual secondary axis. So in the formatting options, I'm going to enable that as well. So here you go. Here's a first combo bar visual with two value axes. So now, since we have created our first instance of the chart, let's focus on interactions. For that, let's go to a different page of the report. So here we go. So on this page, you can see two instances of drill down combo bar visual and one table visual. Now, if I click on one of the bars right here, so in this case, Australia, you can see that I drill down to the second level of the information and it opens up my titles. Uh, as for the table visual, you can see that Australia is being now applied as the first filter on the report page. Now, if I want to combine more filters, I can easily do that by just using another instance of the visual. So in this case, let's just choose product, for example, on the other one. So you can see that I now have two filters active, Australia and product. And the last one, I'm going to choose the VP of product management. And now we can see when the names of employees that are under these specific categories. So this is one of the interactions that you can have with the visual. The other interactions that you have there are, for example, if you have something selected to unselect it, all you have to do is click on the value axis, just like that. Now, on this one, we have a slightly different situation because we're now in the second level of the drill down. So in order to remove these filters, what you need to do is actually zoom out to the previous level. And you can do that easily just by clicking on the zoom out button. There you go. Now we're on the first level on all of the data. No filters have been applied and we're back to the initial state of it. Now, when it comes to the interactions that these visuals have, you have a couple of more options available. So if you long press on one of the bars, you can see that this is being applied as a filter. Now, if you want to select multiple categories from the same chart to be applied as filters, all you have to do is hold down control and click on the initial columns that you want to select. Just easy as that. So another interaction option that a lot of our users really like is the ability to fine tune the zoom level. So all you have to do is hover over the chart, hold down and drag the mouse up or down. As you can see, this allows me to zoom out or zoom in into a specific area. Or in other cases, for example, if you have a lot of these bars, it also allows you to move it up or down. You can see this allows you to kind of uh, completely fine tune the zoom level that you're in. So the few last interaction options that the visual has is, for example, the back button. And once you click on it, what it does, it basically takes you to the previous step of navigation. So whatever you did previously, it takes you to that one. Um, and also, so we talked about the zoom out button. It takes you one level up the hierarchy. And also we have this linear and logarithmic scale button, which just allows you to quickly switch between these two scaling models. So the last thing I wanted to tell you about in this video are the features of the visual. So not only it has intuitive interactions, but it also has an amazing amount of features and formatting options. So for example, if we go to this page, you can see that starting off, the visual already has three different charting chart types that you can utilize. So 
in the very beginning, you saw that we have these 12 series. And each of these series can be individually customized afterwards, which brings a new kind of power to the report creators as to how to customize the report to look exactly like you need. So one thing that you can change, and you can see right here, is that the series can be either lines, columns, or areas. Now, afterwards, you start to play around with it more. You can utilize it also even, for example, the stacking and the clustering options that the visual has. Now, if we actually go into the formatting options of the visual, you can see that there's a vast amount of settings that, that the visual has. You actually need to spend a, quite a bit of time to get the hang of every single thing that you can do with the visual because it's really powerful. So you can see that we can customize legends, primary, secondary x-axis, the y-axis, different thresholds that can be either static or dynamic. Uh, stacking options, different stacking modes, normal, 100%, zero base, things like that. Um, afterwards, you can even start to turn on or off different toolbar items. Afterwards, like I talked about those 12 series, once you open up one of the series, you can actually see here how many settings does it have. So you can adjust the display names of it, the outline colors, the fill colors, the fill color gradients, the lineup thickness opacities, almost every single imaginable thing can actually be customized through the visual. If there is anything that you feel that is missing, let us know, and it's already on our side to figure out how to implement this within the visual. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or feedback regarding the visual, feel free to reach out to us, and I'm looking forward to introducing more new exciting visuals in the future.